what's been going on in the world of Ronnie Monroe? Well, quite a bit, actually. A um, couple months back, I uh, joined up with Presto Ballet, which is Kurt Vanderhoof's prog rock band, basically side project. And uh, shortly after that, I decided to go ahead and take the gig with uh, Steve Blaze and Lillian Axe. So I am now going to make my debut with those guys uh, August 9th in New York City. Uh, it will be their CD release party for their new record, um, Deep Red Shadows, as well as the unveiling of their record label, Love and War. And uh, The Fire Within, my solo CD is still out there. And, uh, you know, basically just trying to stay busy in the in the musical world, man. How's the rehearsals coming along? Uh, good. And, you know, I flew out there about a month ago for a few days, and uh, it was kind of us getting to know each other and running over the songs a couple of days in a row. And, and uh, it went great. You know, the guys are all very cool. And, of course, Steve Blaze has been around for a long time. And uh, great songwriter, great guy. And, um, you know, this gives me another opportunity to get back out there and do some touring and and whatnot and to uh, to be able to do some writing with Steve as well when we decide to go in and, and cut a record with myself on it. And, uh, like I said, it just keeps me busy, and I'm excited. Lillian Axe has got a lot of cool things going on for him right now. Got a great team of people around them, and, uh, you know, the future's looking uh you know, looking kind of bright right now. So I'm excited and ready to get out there and do some touring. And also your CD, The Fire Within, still doing good at this time? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, as, as well as it can do, considering downloading, of course, without getting into that whole thing. But uh, it's still selling, and I'm still getting requests for shows here and there and, and whatnot. But, you know, I, uh, you know, when I had these, these opportunities came up, um, for me, Jason... Well, you know, besides being a metal singer, I'm a singer in general, and I, I like singing different styles and whatnot. And uh, definitely, uh, I get to spread my wings with the Presto Ballet stuff because that's prog rock. You know, very long songs, kind of Kansas-esque, mm -hmm. Genesis, old Genesis sounding. And uh, with Lillian, you know, that's just straight ahead, good rock and roll. So uh, um, I'm really looking forward to it, man. How far are you guys going to be a touring this uh, summer? Yeah, actually, Lillian X, um, they're putting together a tour right now, um, I believe in uh, early September. And like I said, I do my, I make my debut with them at BB King's there in, in New York City on August 9th. So, uh, you know, that's going to be a, a nice, you know, big party, and uh, hopefully a lot of people will come out. And, um, and we'll see what happens, you know, from there. We're looking to team up with some other bands to go out and uh, in a package deal, considering how you know how bad the economy is right now, and mm -hmm. a lot of the uh, a lot of the bands are finding it difficult to tour on their own. You know, doing headlining tours and whatnot. So we're going to team up with you know one or two other bands of, of equal caliber and and go out there and try to stay out there as long as we can. You know, because uh, Deep Red Shadows is a great record. It's got four new Lillian songs and, and four remakes of old songs, as you probably know. I know you talked to Steve once already, but, uh, you know, uh, for me, basically it's getting out there and writing the album as long as we can. And then after that, uh, then uh, start writing the new record, and I'll go in and, and put my stamp on the band as, as much as I can. Where, uh, again, did uh, Steve uh, just all of a sudden find you, or did you find him? Uh, Steve and I met a couple years back um, went to Seattle. I did a, uh, at that time, I was promoting The Fire Within, and I opened up for them okay. at Studio 7 in downtown Seattle. And uh, that's when we first met, and we talked for a few minutes. And, you know, when you meet somebody, you, you, uh, you know, at least for myself, I'm a pretty good judge of character, and I think he is too, and... We hit it off, and he seemed like a very cool guy. And and then we uh, both played Rocklahoma last year. I played with Metal Church, and I also played it on Saturday solo. And him and I got to, we ran into each other another couple times, and for a little bit. And you know, we both kind of thought that it would one day be cool if we could work together. And uh, the this happened to to come about with Derek leaving the band, and and I guess I was the first thing that he, the first person he thought of, and. I got up one day and had an email from their management asking if I was interested. So uh, 
you know, I thought about it for about a week and whatnot, just to make sure, you know, cause you got to make sure that you're making the right moves and whatnot. And I listened to all their stuff, you know, watched their videos on YouTube. And I knew who the band was, of course, mm-hmm. you know, from back when they first came out with the first record and, and whatnot. And, uh, you know, that's when they, we decided that I would fly in and meet the guys and, and learn some songs and jam with them. And that's basically how it happened. And, after we got done jamming, Steve asked me what I thought, and I, you know, I said, you know, I'm going to go for it. I'll take the gig, and uh, the rest is history. Because I think the last time I talked to you in April, you were you're going to go all over the world, you know, playing with other bands like in Germany. Was that a uh, part of the thing you're going to do? Yeah, Jason, I was uh, with uh, for a little while with. Uh, the bass player of Blind Guardian and his brother, the drummer from Rhapsody of Fire and Uli Lulas from uh, Rebellion and used to be in Grave Digger. Mm-hmm. And uh, we were, you know, we had that all set. I had my flight and then, you know, some things came up uh, and the Presto Ballet thing came up and whatnot. And uh, I had to do some hard thinking on that. And basically, uh, after talking with those guys, we opted to uh, basically, you know, separate paths. And, it, you know, it was for the best. I had other opportunities here, and I figured that I would go with that. And uh, also, you know, the way our schedules were being that those guys are in those those other bands, which are all big bands over there, and they've all got newer records that have been released. Mm-hmm. The, uh, the scheduling got all messed up, and basically it wouldn't have been until after the first of the year before I would be able to go there and record the record. And that wasn't going to work for any of us. So that's why we decided to separate paths. And, you know, they ended up getting a, a younger kid from, uh, I believe, Russia, I think. Um, and uh, they're still going to put out the record in this and that. And I wish them the best of luck. And I think it's going to be a great record. But uh, like I said, I just had other opportunities here and scheduling conflicts. And, you know, so it just didn't work out. Yeah, scheduling conflicts can happen a lot, you know, with a schedule like you can have and uh, all these other bands established. Oh, definitely. I mean, you you know who those bands are. Blind Guardian just released their new record, or it's coming out. Rhapsody of Fire is already released just recently, and Rebellion came out a while ago, but is getting great reviews. So, you know, these, these things happen. And uh, But I'm very happy about the Lillian Axe thing, man. The Presto Ballet, like I said, that's, uh, that's cool too, but uh, Lillian Axe is going to be more of a... Uh, more of a touring band, and I think there's going to be some really great opportunities coming up in the future. And if we all remember, Ronnie, Lillian Axe was a metal ledge, legend in its past. Oh, definitely. You know, and that's it all comes you know, a lot to do with Steve Blaze. You know, the guy's always been the main writer and, and whatnot, and uh, I have that much respect for him, and he's a great guy, too. So what better than to go to another band that has a nice big name, too? So things are looking pretty good right now. Well, I'm happy to hear the good news and uh, to be able to talk to you on this. Thank you, Jason. To get out your way soon as well. So. Well, that'd be great. Time, dude.